New attacks in Iraq this morning killed more than 40 people. The violence in that country is near its deadliest point in nearly seven years. Elizabeth Palmer is in Baghdad. Elizabeth, good morning. Good morning. Well, uh, there are mo multiple bombings uh, today. Uh, by mid-afternoon, there had been at least five and counting. The biggest one just outside the capital at a funeral uh, of a government supporter. The rest here in town. Uh, one went off in Karada, which is a very busy commercial district, not far from where I'm standing. It was a car bomb, and it went off in an area where people would be shopping or going uh, to and from work. Uh, the others were scattered all over the city, mostly in Shiite areas, some of them car bombs, some of them just explosives left in backpacks. Now, this bombing campaign is especially traumatic because uh, Baghdad is, in effect, an armed camp. There are military and police checkpoints, not only on the highways leading into Baghdad, but every few hundred yards inside the city. So people are asking themselves, how in heaven's name do these bombers get around and not get caught? Uh, nobody knows who planted the bombs yet, uh, but it does appear to be the work of a group that was known when the U.S. was here uh, as Al-Qaeda in Iraq. Charlie, Nora. All right, Elizabeth, thank you.